market true seeker and uh, I'm in Soul 610. Uh, I just released an amazing, amazing video. I've been working on it all night. I, it should be live very shortly. But this is another part of that 610 Soul. And it just got me fired up. Man, am I hot. Look at this. There's one hole in it, another hole here, another one, another one. It seems to be a perfectly square, probably some type of piece of worked metal. And then you can see underneath this sand, fake sand. See this black smudge here? Let's see if I can show you something. Let's see what we got. This one's a little heavier than others. But you can see the outline of stuff. This is fake, this black smudge. If you're new to my videos, just make sure one thing you're watching in high def, 1080p. Second, you might have to adjust the uh, contrast and uh, brightness on your monitor. And third, I use a handheld camera because all the, the software that I've tried, I, I just can't show you what I'm showing you with that stuff. So, we, you know, there's a sacrifice somewhere. It would be so much easier for me to use, um, you know, the video capture software. Number one, my arm wouldn't be going numb, but uh, you know, I have to keep moving it because if I stay in one spot, the uh, focus bangs in and out and I start to see the lines in the screen, so. Alright, let's take it from there, and I'm going to show you some cool stuff. Alright. Look at this. It looks like it's opened on the inside. Most of the stuff that I'm going to point out, I believe to be statues for grave markers. See how they distorted all this stuff? See this statue here? See this one? See the base of it? See the shadow? They just try to blend this stuff right in. See, this? see these carvings? I believe some of this to be paintings. Some of it's almost comical, which is cool. You see the, the, the eyes, see the two eyes, the open mouth. I mean, some of it just looks comical, which is, which is really, uh, it's like a breath of fresh air to me, you know. To see if they had a sense of humor. You know, who knows, this gravestone could be for like our Charles Schultz, you know, and the peanuts. You see this? See all the carvings in here? See how this comes around? See, I believe this is like a painting that comes up. You see this round thing? It's got like some type, I guess, support or brace or who only knows. Pipe coming from this thing. Yeah, let's see. Oh, these are definitely not rocks. There's so much in this picture. I'm gonna try to scan over just to show you know. You can always pause. But there's so much to show you I can't stop for ten minutes on each thing. Just, you know, we got to keep moving. Look what we got here. This stuff is just too cool. See how they bury all this under sand? And this fake, you know, this, all of this is fake. See all these lines and stuff? All this lighter colored stuff, it's all fake. It almost looks like you got three guys working over here. They work 
working on a, looks like the three guys working on a rock cliff. There's perfect triangle hidden up in the corner. Perfect triangle. There's more than that's just blurring. See this nonsense? See, there's a circle behind there. See, there's more. See all this stuff behind it? Oh, uh, here you go. You can see there's a statue. You see the face comes down. You see the base. See what's going on. And that's what they're hiding. And here's another black smudge. See this black smudge? Let me, let me zoom out for you guys. See what they blurred out. Yeah. Looks like your typical gray alien head, the two big eyes. There's another statue right on the side of it. You see the post that holds it up? And it comes out. This stuff is huge. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. See this? This is a wall that comes up. See how they put, see how they put these lines in here? It's a wall that, look at this. It's a whole structure. Take a line, see what it's covering up. Looks like some type of weird. Uh, I don't know. Missile. I don't know. I don't know what the hell you want to call it, but it's probably a carving. It's missile shaped. But, uh, I mean, these, these nitwits over at uh, NASA say that we can't see this stuff. Look at this, here you go, another. There's the triangle in the back. See the symbol you see on the side of it? Another this beehive pattern on me. Another carving. And look at this, there's the two eyes. The big head. See these carvings? It's got the little opening here. These are monuments. Look at this glitch. It's too cool. Look at this. There's like grates. You can see there's like a honeycomb. Maybe this is like a tomb like we have. See this rectangle, see? There's a little... See how they make this stuff? It almost just like falls to the ground flat. Because they take all the shadow away. There's another one of your CGI rocks covering something. Some that gets left uncovered. See this? You can see back here is a wall. You see what looks to be there's the person's head. He's working. This picture looks to have a lot of people working in it. 
That's why I say this is done by satellite. Satellite or drone. Or it's it's ours. It's it's our people. We're working in conjunction with them. We're excavating these rooms. Just to say if there was gold up there. Imagine what that gold would be worth on the market here. Or if we got up there and we controlled, you know, we basically controlled Mars. It's ours. And our government has done stranger things. I mean, we invaded a country and murdered its uh, leader. You know, you take a guy like Saddam Hussein, let me tell you something, he was, he's like an ant on an anthill somewhere out in the desert. We knew what he had, what he was doing, what he can do, and we had to go spend all that money to invade that country. And now it's just, it's a mess. You know, he was playing tough guy with the UN inspectors because he had to. He couldn't just bow down to us like some little pussy. The countries around him would eat him for breakfast. He ruled with fear because he really didn't have much as far as weapons or... I mean, the guy really had a role with fear. It was all smoke and mirrors at the end of the day. I mean, he couldn't just bow down to us like some little kid. He yeah, act like he was tough. Those countries around him, man, those are some tough people. They'll eat him for breakfast. So he had to act like a tough guy to America. Look at this, here we go. It looks like an S or something here. Look at this thing carved. Looks like a spade. There's more than S, his dandy work. See the box? You ain't stopping me, though. You ain't stopping me and my viewers. See how they put these lines? And it just disappears. Let's see how close we can get to these carvings for these. You see this? That just looks like a piece of machinery. See, like it's got one connector, another connector, another connector. There's mechanical rovers and all types of mechanical stuff, all the machinery all over Mars. See this? You see the piping and stuff? And you see what they're covering up here. There's more, more off to the side. This looks to be like another one of those S's. You see everything that's here? This is really colored, which is pretty cool. But yeah, Saddam was saying that act like Mr. Tough Guy. Got him killed, but he yeah, act like Mr. Tough Guy. That's why he gave those UN inspectors such a hard time. It's just common sense. He was no real threat to us. This was just payback. At the cost of a lot of young Americans, our neighbors, our friends. Look what they did to this. Look at this. Look at this statue, it's laying sideways, it looks like, yep. Yeah. It's laying on this base. It's carved into there. There's its head. You can kind of see the outline of what this used to be.
until someone seemed fit to destroy it. Our history. This is what we got going on in our government. And NASA. This is what they're spending their time doing. And our money. Look at this cool statue. This is my second take. Hopefully, uh, we'll do maybe one more. I'll pick the one that's the best, but so far I like this one. We'll see how it goes. If you don't hear me saying this, then it's definitely him. You're definitely watching. You won't even know the difference. You're watching another take. But I like the way this one's going. Stuff on the sands popping. I can see the hidden statues. And our billion dollar rover. I mean, they want me to believe that this is what the rover's sending down. And this looks like branches of some sort. See this giant statue? See the shadows underneath? Just loaded. See how they just take this right across, they go with it. There's more of it. You just come in like that, and just fill it in. See the cool symbol on the back wall there? We're not allowed to see that stuff. Only a couple of idiots that don't really appreciate it get to see this stuff. If I worked for NASA and I had one more day to retire and they wanted me to start destroying these pictures, I'd blow my retirement and everything. Somebody at NASA has to have enough cojones and enough common sense to stop this nonsense and come out tell the truth. There, there's another cross. See how this comes up as a perfect triangle. See these carvings in it? Look at this. Looks like a beautiful gray alien head. See the nose, the two eyes, the big head. See how it's carved? These grays are on Mars. Now if they originated from Mars, I don't know. One thing I do know for sure is the Greys are on Mars and they've been there for a long time. Because I've seen a lot of old weathered statues with their carvings in it. So. That's a fact. guarantee I've researched this stuff long enough to be able to tell you that is a fact UFOs grays other planets in our solar system in the world in the universe and here's another S see how these are carved all over the place these S's When I'm out hiking and taking pictures, man, I, I don't get S's in my stuff. I don't get anything that looks like this. I can't see through my rocks to see statues. Nah. Like I said, my, my 20, 
25 years of research plus, give or take more, you know, as a child, you know, I used to open books, encyclopedias. And at one point I was so young I didn't even realize that the pictures were fake. You know, they were just like artist renditions. And I used to take a, a magnifying glass and zoom in. But something always told me in my head that there's something else. Serious stuff. I've always had a feeling and a knowing that there was something else and that I was being lied to. There just looks like four balls on top of some type of rod. Maybe it's like a wind vane or something. There's another statue that they, look, they just came right over. You know, for the people that don't know, you got, you want to hit the pause button. You see something you like, you could rewind on YouTube, hit the pause button, go over it. You know, tell a friend, tell your neighbor. Say to your neighbor, hey listen, what'd you do last night? You know what? I watched a video that showed me life on Mars. Here's another letter. Or look at this. There's those backwards threes. Well, it depends on how you're looking at it. It could be an upside down M. It could be a three. I've seen them backwards. Like flipped around the other way. So it could be an E. I mean, who only knows? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I meant to say a backwards E when I first looked at this. It does look like a three, though. Backwards E. I'm a little loopy. I've been up all night. I'm getting, I'm trying to get this stuff out to you guys. To get the truth out there. Look at this beautiful thing. It almost looks like a white bird sitting on some type of wall here. One of these perfect triangles. That's a cool thing back here. What do we have here? You know, it looks like a disc with some type of center. something brass colored or golden colored. That's fake. And that's fake. Those are just black smudges they put in there. And here you can see there's another cross. Then they blur it. There's another one. This could be a person, it's their hair walking down. For sure, this is 
part of this picture was taken from far away. And it cuts into... Wow, look at this. Almost looks like a vehicle. See how it's leaving a trail? What you think about that one? That's strange. See how it's like leaving a dust trail or smoke trail? Look at this. Wow. You know what that must look like in person? See the shadow underneath it? Look at this. They try to make it all disappear. Oh my god, my blood pressure, my blood pressure. Cool face. You know, who knows? There could be people that come and ransack this stuff. Who only knows what's going on up there? And that's why sometimes things look like they're thrown all over the place. See what I could do with this for you. Yeah, look at that. See how it comes up. See the face there that they blurred. Looks like a number two. Looks like it's attached to something. Oh, that's strange. Uh, compared to what what I've shown you in these past two videos that I've been up all night doing, nothing surprises me. See what's behind here. See these carvings. These are painted, carved stones. That's what I believe them to be. That's that cross I just showed you. See, it looks like there's people down there working. See, the guy's got his arm up. All types of piping and stuff. You see what's going on here? See how they make make a mockery of these pictures? You see that face? Cross in front of it. There's wood coming across. Looks like a person sitting there. This should be a crime. What they're doing to these pictures and deceiving the public. It should, it should actually be a crime. They've taken funding under false pretenses. You're basically stealing. Look at this, look at this. That, maybe some type of, uh, looks to, but who knows with the way they blur stuff out. But. Try to describe it, but up here they just really went to town. There's a lot up here in the corner, top right corner. A lot going on. Oh, that's fake. And this you can see. You can see the carvings in this thing. This is just ornate. Looks like there's a plat. This is a platform out in front of it. See all the carvings. All the carvings underneath. 
which is gorgeous. These are grave markers. That's what I think. That's what I think we're looking at. And I'm going to stick by that till the end. Until NASA shows me different. See how this looks like a person walking? These structures are gigantic. Head. That uh, gray look, see the big eyes, the mouth. Look at this. Tell me these don't look like people. Tell me these don't look like two people just going about their business. Maybe three, maybe a small child. They're just working on working on one of the gravestones. So let me put that blur. Some of these don't look like three people. A little kid, a lady, and another lady. Look at this. I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm just so disgusted with these nitwits. I think that's going to be about it. I mean, there's a lot in here, but I just, I, I, I can go all day on this one picture. I could pick stuff out for you all day. Once my eyes get in tune, that's it, I'm, I'm on. Sometimes it takes me a couple of, a couple of pictures or about an hour. But once my eyes get get in tune to the colors and what I'm looking for to stand out. See this, how it comes out. They put this blur on it. 